Lesson 10, Part 1 First, Arimas Exist B. Referring to inanimate things Asoko ni sukuega arimas There is a desk over there Second, Imas Exist B. Referring to animate things Ike ni sakana ga taksan imas there are lots of fishes in the pond. Third, iro iro, various. Ko enni iro iro na hanaga arimas. There are lots of different flowers in the park. Fourth, otoku no hito, man. Ano otoku no hito wadare desu ka? Who is that man over there? Fifth, onna no hito, woman. Ano onna no hito wa karina san des. That lady over there is karina san. Sixth, Otoko no ko, boy. Ano otoko no ko wa, anata no musuko desu ka? Is that boy over there your son? Seventh, onna no ko, girl. Ano onna no ko wa, anata no musume desu ka? Is that girl over there your daughter? Eighth, inu, dog. Watashi wa inu ga suki desu. I like dogs. Ninth, neko, cat. Uchi ni neko ga ni ikimasu. There are two cats in our home. Tenth, panda. Panda. Dobutsu wen de panda o memashita. I saw pandas at the zoo. Grammar point one. En ga arimas emas. Arimas and emas indicate the existence of a person, thing, etc. Since a sentence using these simply tells the listener that a thing or person exists, the noun representing that thing or person is marked by ga. First, arimas is used when what is present is inanimate and cannot move by itself, such as plants and object. Example, computer ga arimas. There's a computer. Second, imas is used when what is present is animate and can move by itself, like people and animals. Example, otoko no hito ga imas. There's a man. Grammar point 2. Place ni en ga arimas imas. First, the particle ni is used to mark the place where the thing or person is. Example, watashi no heya ni sukue ga arimas. There's a desk in my room. Second, the interrogative nani is used when asking what is present, while the interrogative dare is used when asking who is present. Example, Chika ni nani ga arimas ka, restaurant ga arimas. What's in the basement? There's a restaurant.